I'm Ido Goldstein. I did my PhD at the Weizmann Institute and then moved on from my postdoc training at the National Institutes of Health in the United States. And a year ago, I moved back to Israel and uh, opened my own lab of nutrigenomics, liver biology, and gene expression at the Hebrew University at the Faculty of Agriculture, Food Science, and Environment. In the lab, we study principal response to fasting in the body. Many studies have clearly shown that periods of fasting, of lack of food, in various animal models and also in humans, have significant health benefits. We know that fasting leads to alleviation of diabetes, obesity, cancer, Alzheimer's, several other diseases, and even increases longevity. What we don't know is how fasting leads to all of these beneficial effects. We experience uh, fasting routinely, and during fasting, the liver plays a very important role in providing fuel for the rest of the body. The liver actually responds to these periods of lack of food by producing alternative fuels such as ketone bodies and also glucose to provide the body with the energy it needs in the absence of food. What distinguishes our lab from other labs is that we look at how the liver and other organs respond to fasting by regulating gene expression. Certain genes in our body are turned on, are induced during fasting in order to cope with lack of food. These genes are responsible to produce, uh, for example, alternative fuels to burn fat. So we study what are the regulatory mechanisms, what are the regulatory signals that turn on these genes and turn off different set of genes. We study that mostly in liver cells because the liver is responsible to producing these fuels. And we also look at how the genome is actually the genome structure is altered during nutritional insults such as fasting because the genome actually is compacted and decompacted at certain regions in order to lead to gene expression. So we use genomic methods, metabolic methods and molecular biology methods together in order to interrogate how the response to fasting is regulated by altered gene expression Combining these tools makes this lab unique and I hope we'll be able to dig deeper into that fascinating response to fasting. I believe that understanding liver biology better and understanding how the liver regulates uh, gene expression in response to nutritional and also pathological situations will be able to more effectively treat disease such as obesity, diabetes and even cancer.